Hello everyone, welcome back in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, I will tell you how to compile and run a Java program inside Notepad++. This process is very simple. This is Notepad++. And these are the steps that we are going to follow. The first thing first, you must have a Java installed on your machine. This is the prerequisite because uh, we need a compiler to compile the Java class okay and uh, you have to verify if you have uh, the Java installed on your machine so how to check process is simple just open the command prompt and uh, type a simple command Java hyphen version then press enter So verification is uh, necessary otherwise uh, everything will be mess up and that will not work. Okay, here we go. So we will get such kind of a message Java version 1.8. In your case you will get a different version and this thing will vary uh, machine to machine. If you have purchased your machine recently then you will get a latest version of Java or maybe it has been updated. So but anyhow after running this uh, command you will get a such kind of message once you get that means java is there on your machine now we can proceed for the next step so i am closing this cmd so the step one guys we have to download notepad plus plus from the official website of the notepad plus plus so just type uh, in the google search box and you will get the first link open and you will see the various downloads and other various uh, sites available for the downloading so select uh, the particular version as per your windows architecture 32 bit or a 64 bit so just install download and install on your system it's a simple process you can also take a zip package and you can launch the exe okay once you installed we can proceed for the step 2 step 2 is simple once and uh, after the launch you will see the notepad plus plus and in the step 2 we have to install a very useful plugin that will do everything so this is the most important step so please watch it carefully okay inside the notepad we have to go here on the top menu in this plugins click on it and this drop down will appear so at this place there is a plugin manager select the plugin man manager click on the show plugin manager once you open you will see uh, the plugins loaded in the available tab and here we have to look for a plugin npp exe so i am looking for that uh, plugin this is the plugin that we are looking for npp exe select it and click on this install button and the downloading and installation will start this will not take much time and you will get this prompt message so you can proceed click on the yes and after that uh, your uh, net notepad plus plus will be restarted so we have completed the step two now we will move to the step three in the step three we have to set up environment variables and we have to set the java path there to do So we will set java home java underscore home variable in the environment variable. So to do that we have to go this PC do the right click click on the properties and after that click on this advanced settings under this window click here on the environment variables and this window will appear. So guys come inside this uh, system variables section and click on this new button to create a new entry. So we are going to create a java underscore home variable. Okay. So the name is given. Now we have to select the JDK or uh, Java location. So click on this browse directory. So browse window will appear. So we have to select now. mostly java uh, 
is inside the C drive in uh, program files so we will get this Java folder click on it and uh, select the uh, JDK folder okay that's it we have to select up to JDK folder that is fine now click OK now again we have to look uh, for another uh, variable which is already there path and click on this edit and here we have to make one new entry so click on this new button a new entry will be created so just type percentage java underscore home percentage sign then uh, backward slash slash bin that means we are giving the complete path up to bin folder and this will be used when notepad plus plus look for the java compiler that's it click ok ok close everything that's done so we have a uh, set up java home and uh, we have completed the step 3 now now we have to write a simple program the java program so i have already written this is the click c class and only a single statement system dot out dot print ln is there now we will save this file with dot java extension so i suggest you create one uh, folder on the desktop and then place this file inside that folder so the, my folder is notepad plus plus and I will uh, give this file name with the same class name test.java and our class is test and going to save with the .java extension and the file is saved now the important step go to the plugins and click on this npp exe and after that go to the right side click on this execute and this window will appear in this window we have to provide the commands to run this Java to compile and after that for run so it's simple first we will reach to the folder where we have saved our file so the step is CD dollar then place opening bracket and you will get the options list then select current directory so the first command will uh, take you inside the folder in which the java file is okay and the second command for the compilation of this java file so java c is for the compilation of the file and the dollar signature and the file name so this will fetch the file name and after that once the class file is generated we have to execute the class file so we will use java dollar name underscore part name underscore part means the class name only means in our case this will fetch test so the command will be java space test so these commands will be executed step by step we can save it as well here click on the save button then provide the name of this script and this script will be saved and will be listed inside this drop down so this is saved okay all these statement will be executed one by one click ok and you can see the console window appear and uh, statements appearing in the green text so you can see CD executed we reached inside the notepad plus plus folder after that java c command executed and the class file generated let me show you the class file okay guys this is the class file generated after the execution of java c command test dot class and the last command is for the execution of that class file java space test and you can see the result on the console this is cool it help so the statement system dot out dot print ln is executed successfully if something 
is uh, problematic or is there any error so you will get the error message on that console then you can rectify that errors and again run the same program and you will get the output i hope you guys found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and please subscribe my channel and guys for now thanks for watching cool it help